welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and I've never done a video like this before, but I wanted to check in and tell you what I'm currently reading because my reading is slowing down um, and now I have new things going on. So I figured I'd make this video. I obviously didn't do anything. <laughs> I normally at least put on a headband, put on a bra, a different top, but you know what? You're just getting me. And uh, right now I just sat down to study. So I've mentioned that uh, quite a bit on Instagram, in some live streams I've been doing like produ productivity sprints. So for anyone asking, I am studying for a personal training certification. Um, I mean, for the certification, yes, and because I have a thing where if I'm not working towards something, it's a lot. It doesn't help my anxiety and depression, and so this is always something I've thought about. I've always had an interest in health. Um, I, I was a public health major in college, but obviously I don't do anything with that now. So this, yes, I can do something with it, but more, less on the, I want to personal train people and more on the education side for myself to learn more because there's so much misinformation out there. And I feel like this is just a starting stepping stone and I want to continue to learn uh, going forward. And I want to share information with people so they can have like a legitimate source because I feel like so much of it is, I don't know it's there's a lot there's a lot of information out there some bad some good some you know and for me I've struggled being in this like in the middle or I guess like mid-sized body and there's either the super shredded people and who are very strict or then there's the people who aren't very strict but then they're just naturally genetically able to maintain a smaller body without doing as much work and that is not me and then there's people who are obviously larger. There's there's fat people who are happy with their size and I'm not there either. So like, I'm just in this weird place where I like want to learn more from my own self. I wanna share information and like correct information because I see people who are, you know, have a six pack abs or they have a really great butt. And so everyone's like, oh, well, that person must know everything. And they're just out here selling programs that are terrible and taking people's money and in, in, in terrible form and giving horrible nutrition advice and I'm not giving nutrition advice because I'm not certified in that but anyway so that's just also this kind of a life update something I'm working on my exam is August 5th August 3rd and so I'm like in crunch mode I just took another practice exam and I passed but not with a margin as as big as I would like so I'm continually I'm continuing to study there so that's cutting down into my reading time and then also, as most of y'all know, I started my book community read book club. And so our first read is July and it is Conflict is Not Abuse by Sarah Shulman. I, Mara read this and when she was talking about it, her wrap up, um, it sounded like a good community discussion, especially for the book community. So this is like two, right under 300 pages. There's a discord if you're interested in the book club and I'll link it under this video. Um, a lot of people are in the discord having great conversations. There's like a general chat. There's different, this is split up. I have, we have it split up and I think it did four different sections. So if you're in a certain part, you can talk with people who are in that part as well. I have not started this and I need to. So I'm going to start it soon. Um, take notes. I know Mara said it wasn't a perfect book, but she thought it was, uh, just had some great things that would lead to a good discussion. So again, if you're interested, book community read, there's a Twitter, there's a Discord, and this is the book for July where I'm going to do every other month. So we're going to do the live show in the beginning of August. That has not been decided yet, but then in August, um, and then towards the end of this month, I'll put up a poll for the next read, but we won't be reading that till September. So if that makes sense, if you want to join, and it's only nonfiction books for that book club. And then also now I have a Patreon, which is wild to me. Thank you so much to everyone who has become a patron. I'm, I love y'all. And so I, for a certain tier, well, everyone can choose uh, for to just to vote on a book that I read, just I, I read and review. And the vote, which I'm so excited, was for Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Bully. I am so excited. I finally, I was like, oh, I'm gonna read it from the library. And then I just kept seeing people get a copy and I'm like, no, I need, I need a copy of this. Although, I love you, Reese, but I hate this freaking sticker, not sticker. And so it's a beautiful book. And this is an indigenous author. This story is, let's see, she is part Ojibwe 
and the main character I think gets involved in like a murder investigation I'm pretty sure and I just heard it's so good and emotional lots of content warnings so I can't wait to read this since I'm not reading a lot this month I probably will end up doing vlogs for these like or at least individual like I think I would like to vlog this um and another one and then maybe I'll just do a standalone review for conflict is not abuse if someone doesn't want to watch the live show but any who's this was the vote and I'm very excited and then for like my patreon book club where we choose a book and read it together in the discord for the patreon that I'm working on <laughs> no I'm not working on I have amazing people who are helping me out because I am patreon illiterate but we they chose the long way to a small angry plant by Becky Chambers I know Steph should be happy <laughs> Then finally getting to this, she sent this to me and I have read To Be Taught If Fortunate by Becky Chambers, which was a novella and I really loved it. And so this is her, okay, let's see. This is Becky Chambers' Wayfarer ser Wayfarer's series. I think the, like, it's on the fourth book? I'm not sure. But anyway, I know there is an interesting cast of characters like on the back there they talks about a random person like rosemary but then also an exotic reptilian pilot chatty engineers who keep the ship running like a noble captain life is life aboard is chaotic and crazy so this uh after reading to be taught a fortunate i really liked her writing and how it's just more of a softer sci-fi if you will um so i'm excited about this again not too super long this is right under 400 pages, so good length. I think Firekeeper's Daughter might be a little longer. So this one's right under like 500 pages. So this one's a little longer. But yeah, so I'll be reading this with my patrons. And I don't know, will I vlog this? Maybe, what is, what is, ignore. And then lastly that I'm reading this month, definitely will not finish this month. This will probably take me through August. I'm doing a buddy read with, but. I'm doing <laughs> I'm doing a buddy read with Bethany from Beautifully Bookish Bethany and we are tackling the behemoth that is Black Reconstruction in America from 1860 to 1880 by W.E.B. Du Bois. So I had I've been trying to buy this book for a while and for a while I think it was like out of print or um, like the printings like they were behind on printings or something because I couldn't oh I couldn't find I couldn't find one for like not fifty dollars but anyway i didn't realize this book was so chunky it's like 800 pages 700 it's like 730 pages and i've read 84 but also look at the print it's small print lots of pages and it's dense because i think and correct me if i'm wrong that this was written as like his um what do you call it this is written as like a dissertation like this is an academic text and i have not read i mean besides the personal training but that's really different uh i haven't read like an academic text in a long time and i never went to grad school where you read even more complicated academic texts bethany has which is great because i'm like great because i can ask you questions but it's good so far it's just dense and it's going to take a while to get through it i'm uh, obviously making tabs I have, you know, written some notes and underlined in some areas, um, parts that are still relevant, even though this was written in like 1932, things that still apply to today. So that's great. But yeah, so I'll be reading this all through July, probably all through August because I got through it, get through a chapter and I'm like, whoo, I need a break. It's a lot, but I just wanted to read this. I feel like this is like, can you call it a foundational text? And I think it's important. Um, so I will get through this. And so I also, I keep, <laughs> I feel like the memoir of my life would be like, I, I somehow got myself into another buddy read. And that sounds bad. Cause like I enjoy them, but I end up like trying to do too many when I really should like not. But I know that I'm supposed to be buddy reading another nonfiction book eventually thick. Um, but maybe we can hold off until August with that. So these are the reads that I'm focusing on for the rest of the month. I have all the books that are coming in from the library. 
I've delayed and then I even went through my holes and I either finally just removed some that I've been delaying for like over a year and I was like this is just getting ridiculous let's just remove the holes or I've pushed them back to August and September so that I'm not borrowing any ebooks or audiobooks from the library unless it's for a physical book that I own that I'm trying to read and I finished the physical books that I checked out from my library here and so I'm just focusing on the books that I own and the books that I own right now that I'm focusing on are these four very different <laughs> stories. I got a sci-fi which is good. I'm glad that um this is going to be like a group read because I haven't been in a, sci in a science fiction or fantasy mood and I think something like this hopefully can slowly work me back in. Then I've got a non-fiction like a, a, a an important classic of nonfiction of black nonfiction and then I've got this nonfiction for my book club it was written in 2016 so not old but I think since it's talk it does talk about like social media and stuff that some of it's just going to be outdated because that's just the nature of how things change and then a recent a more recent release where we have a YA indigenous um, murder mystery I think if you want to call it that so got a nice mix here of things to read for July plus my enthralling cpt book <laughs> and that's what's that's what i'm gonna be doing that's what i'm reading so let me know what y'all are reading if you're partaking in any of these reads with me I'll let me know as well and if you've read if anyone has read black reconstruction and you just have any tips on ways to get through it because you normally i listen to nonfiction on audio right but now going forward I want to only read them the majority of them after I've already owned the book so that I can follow along and annotate so I am listening to the audio of this and following along with the physical book because so many that I listened to and loved I've now bought the book and I'm like well now I need to read new now I need to reread it so anyway if you have any tips other than what I've already said to, to read back here reconstruction because I'm not trying to rush through it because I really want to get everything that he's saying let me know but I think that's it just a quick little check-in for what I'm reading for the rest of the month and like somehow it's almost the, I can't I just can't I can't deal with time so that's it for me uh like this video if you liked it <laughs> subscribe check out my description box all the information there especially for book clubs if you want to join my patreon social media all that good stuff but stay blessed hydrated sunscreen and moisturized and i'm gonna stay caffeinated and i'll see you in my next one bye